Well, hey there, John here, and I'm back in the Eastman Discovery Lab at the Hands-On Discovery Center, and today is World Book Night. And also, it's William Shakespeare's birthday! <laughs> in honor of books, which we all know are like the keys to all knowledge in the universe, and knowledge is power. Books are strong, and that kind of made me think. There was an activity that I saw on one of my favorite TV shows years and years and years ago where they took a couple phone books and made an experiment where they interlaced all the pages and tried to break the books apart. The books are so strong that they actually had to use trucks to try to rip them apart and eventually the spine of the phone book broke off. The reason for this is friction. The same force that uh, slows things down or stops them, kind of pushes back from motion. We can demonstrate that using this little tile coaster that I stole from home. On one side, it's a very smooth stone surface. On the other side, it has these cork grippies that keep it from sliding around. On the smooth side, you can place it on the table and just There's very little resistance, very little friction. On the, on the cork side, those rubber grippies will actually prevent it from moving around. Those cork grippies actually increase the friction. So with our books here, I've actually taken two smaller books. They're a lot smaller than this phone book here, which has over 300 pages. I have two cookbooks actually that have about 60 pages each, and I've just started interlacing them, passing one page back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and you get the idea until we're all the way to the other cover. Now we have 60 pages here from one book and 60 pages from the other. That is a lot of surface area that increases the friction. And even with these two small books, if you tried to rip them apart, it's going to take a lot of strength. So you could turn this into a strong book tug of war with a friend at home. Uh, if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, try to read a book tonight because it is World Book Night after all. Also, subscribe to our channel so you never miss a new video post. Uh, check the description below. We're going to have tons of science links. And uh, there's also going to be information down there on how you guys can help us keep the science alive. But right now, I'm going to go finish Brian Green. Bye, y'all!